percent or the ninety nine. I'm not trying to change their mind. Try to convince me that Trump is a good president. Try to convince you that Trump is a good president. Yeah. If you are a hundred percent confident that he's a bad president. Yeah. Um. Also, I like talking to people that are really, really absolute in a belief. Maybe like a hundred percent or like zero yeah. percent, and seeing what it would take for them to realize if they were wrong. Like trying to open up their mind a little bit to like maybe the one percent or the ninety nine. I'm not trying to change their mind. Try to convince me that Trump is a good president. Try to convince you that Trump is a good president. Yeah. If you are a hundred percent confident that he's a bad president. Yeah. When we've had presidents who <laughs> own people as property. Uh, well. In contrast, he's really not that bad. <laughs> we've had much worse. <laughs> except that. At that point in time, mm-hmm. that was part of our history. It didn't is. didn't make it right. But, in but terms I'm not of so like sure good that president, also make them bad people. But if I had to choose between like Hamilton and Trump right now, I would choose Trump in the sense of Hamilton actually owned people as property. So the question would be... See, I don't, I don't know. I, think, I, I don't think that Trump... I don't think he likes anyone that is not a white, rich man. And they can't be richer than him. Because he talks derogatory about women. Oh, yeah, absolutely. About ethnicity. Could you imagine? About our Tom- military. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson. Could you imagine what he was saying about women back in this time? Benjamin Franklin. Like, I don't know. I, I There's like a curve. We don't know for real. But there's like a curve of. But look at the women that were in their lives. So I don't know if that's so true But or they didn't not. even let them vote. There was no jobs no. available for them. No, well, that's not necessarily true. There were more jobs than you realized because that's not what we teach. Fair wage jobs. You see, jobs. most of what you learned was what was taught to you in school. Okay. And I, I don't necessarily agree that all of that is true. If you start looking at historical um, documentation on some of that, that wasn't always true. You find that a lot of our women that were more well off mm. did a lot more than you realized that they did. Sure, they absolutely. still had the power. I in the totally hall. agree with you. Yes. I also think that men in the position of power back then were far more inhibitory oh, towards yes. their success oh, absolutely. compared to what we have now. But my goal wouldn't be to try to convince you that he's a good president. My goal would be to but get he's you not from the worst. To get you from, if you're 100% confident that he's the worst president, get you like 99% confident that he's the worst president. You can still keep the same conclusion, but you at least know what it would take to change your mind. Do you have something that would change your mind with regard to, like, Trump actually not being the worst president? If Is there anything that he could he do would, in the future? I think, yeah, he would have to do a huge change. Like what? Really become a different person. And not, I mean, he mean? Would, it would mean that... He would have to acknowledge that the rest of us on the planet are important. Okay. And that women are not just something for him to look at with the eye that he does. Mm. And like our military. Mm. I mean, the things that he said about, uh, what's his name, who's passing away? Our senator from Arizona. Uh, John McCain? Yes. The things he said about him are atrocious. Mm. I might not agree with you as a person if you were in the military, but I would never demean your service. Right. Never. Right. right. I have problems with those things. While we can both agree that mm-hmm. things he says are outlandish mm-hmm. and definitely not sensitive or becoming of someone who represents all of us. No. It does sound like you do have a criteria that's based on evidence. Right. Evidence that you need to see that would make you change your mind. It doesn't He'd sound have like to really wake up overnight and say by virtue that you are open-minded of the the concept that he's actually not that bad because you have a criteria right that doesn't mean you're absolute anymore that's true right that's a good way to look at it i like to think about it that way and that anything that puts you in a more reasonable position Hmm. well thanks yeah all right have a good evening it was good chatting with you good chatting with you as well all right have a good evening (laughs) have a good one All right. Good talk with Carol. I think that's keepers.